what's up, you guys? Uh, Marty Schwartz with GuitarJams.com. Um, just in my backyard. It's an amazing day in Southern California. Don't mean to make any of you guys jealous out there, but it's pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to teach you this Lifehouse song right now, and um, it's, it's a nice beginner song. And so if you're a beginner, what you can do, actually, I've got a great free ebook for you. All you got to do is click the link in the information box. You sign up on my email list, and I will send you a free ebook that's got all the beginner chords that you would need to learn all these great beginner songs and the beginner scales, every, everything in the order that you would want to learn. So go ahead and click the link, and uh, right now I'm going to teach you the song. Okay, so we've got a verse and a chorus, basically. And so we're going to go like this. Got the capo on the first fret, and so now we're imagining that capo is zero fret, so then we've got one, two, three, four, five, etc. We're going to go to a C chord, which is in the E book. So we got that, and then all we have to do is take our ring finger and scoot it back to the second fret of the G string, and now we have an A minor chord. So it goes like this. Two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Another time. One. Then we're going to go a C chord, one, two, one, two, and that's the whole verse. Now there is a part where if I put my index finger on the one, two, third fret of the D and my ring finger on the, you know, a whole step higher, skip a fret on the next string, the G string, and you pluck both of those, that's kind of the intro. And that's also could be called a power chord, then we're going to go scoot it up so if we're right here that's the third fret then we're gonna go four five six seven up to the seven then you play it right there just to get an authentic sound from the recording So if you're playing with another guitar player, that's a really cool thing to be able to do as well. One guitar player could be doing that kind of smaller part, and the other guy could be strumming. All right, so we've got... We're going to keep the strumming real simple for a beginner out there. We're going to go down, up, down, up, down, up, just like that. Down, up, down, up, down, up, to A minor. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. the verse C up down up down of A minor up down up C up down up down of A minor up down up down of C up down up down of A minor up down up down of C G and then that brings us to the chorus so let's do that all right so the chorus starts on a C chord So I'm falling apart I'm still blood uh. So it's blood uh. It resolves to that G Watch I'm falling apart On that first little time of the chorus, you could go like this. And then you could play a G chord with the ring finger right there on the third, middle finger right there, pinky on the third right there, and then index on the first fret of the B, and you have what's called a G suspended. And that uh, would be even more accurate way to play. But the first way I showed you is going to work really well. So we've got...
So here's what we're going to do now, because we got a little time left. Uh, I'm going to play the verse into the chorus, and you can try and play along with me, uh, or you can try and soak it in. So here we go, the verse. One, down, up, down, up, two. Here we go. Again, same thing. Again, C. I'll do the other way. So nice, two easy little parts for you. Hopefully you had fun with that. Um, there was a lot of requests for that song, so I wanted to give that one to you. And real quick, you can get that free ebook, no problem. Just click in the link in the info box, and uh, it will really help with all of my video lessons that I have. And um, that's it, you guys. So we'll see you in the next lesson. See you later.